Well, good morning, YouTubers. I'm uh, going to do another how-to video this morning to show you how I create audio books or audios from articles uh, that I write or some old articles that have been out for a while and I republish them and I have oh probably 2100 videos out here with that are audio uh, books or articles uh, so let's uh, get started here I'll show you how I do it and I use online programs and I use uh, some uh, open s uh, source software and as you can see I'm using Linux I don't use Windows but you can do all this in Windows on a Mac or Linux whatever flavor you ch happen to choose so uh, it's your choice so let's go to my browser first of all and let's go to the very beginning here okay this is a little article I wrote just for the the video that we're doing this morning and it's how to create an audiobook. I mean, what else could you ask for? And uh, there's one thing I'd like to do before I get started here, and that is delete some files. Oh, I guess I got them in my image file here. And I'm going to delete these four files because we're going to recreate them because I want to show you how I did that. Okay. I do is I take this text and I do a copy and a paste and bring it into a Google slide uh, and what I do with the slides is I just drop the text in like I drop my text in here drop the text in here I just uh, did a copy and then I did a paste and bingo what was in here you can do whatever formats and all that stuff, make your slide the way you want to. Uh, uh, that's your prerogative. I just did this to kind of show you that you can add a little little to your slides. It just doesn't have to be just plain Jane. Okay, so now that we got this done, we want to take these slides and copy them to an image file so we can put them in our video. Now, if you notice, there's an image on here what I did is I just captured something from my screen because uh, I use Google products and I pasted it in here just to show you that it can be done okay let's uh, let's do a presentation I found this is the easiest way to do it and wait till the screen clears now I'll do a, uh, a print screen is all I'm going to do and I'll do it for each slide so there's four slides one two, three, four. That's it. We got them all. And those were the four files that I just showed you over here. Uh, that I took out of here. Now, when I do a screen capture, it goes in my picture folder. So I've got all four out here. Now what I want to do is I want to rename these one, two, three, and four so I know what sequence to put them in. I use a shortcut key. Yours might be different, so I won't even tell you which one I use. Uh, but I changed the name of the file. Call this one. Do the next one. Call it two. Next one. Call it three. And the next one. Call it four. Okay, I got them renamed. Now what I want to do is grab them all, and I'm going to grab them and drag them over to this image file that I deleted them out of here. Okay, so we got them back again, and these are the ones we're going to use in our video. Now, these are the other files that I, I created that I used in the video. And let's just go back to a browser for a minute here. I do as I copy this complete text to a, uh, a copy, and once I got it copied, I paste it into... Uh, this program called text to speech you can do a search for it and find it it's just from text to speech com is what it is and once I paste it in here then I pick the English I want whether United States or Britain 
and then pick who I want to read the text, and then I pick the speed, and I usually pick fast. Then I click on Create Audio File, and once the audio file is created, then I right mouse click on it, and I save it to uh, my hard drive in the files that I'm going to use for the video. Okay, with that said, I'm just going to minimize this because we're done with that. Now, I'm using a software called OpenShot software. Let's open it once. I already created the file, so all I have to do is open it. Uh, let's just open uh, project and drill down to where I put it, and I put it in. Uh, my Dropbox folder and I just called it how to and how to create a book and there it is so I'm just gonna open it okay it's open and as you can see I already added these uh, files I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove them and I'm gonna remove them and as you noticed, I got five tracks here. I don't need them, so I'm just going to delete some of these tracks that I don't need. Okay. And now I got two tracks, and that's all I really want. So the first one, I'm going to put the start video out here. And I'm going to drag this over to right about here. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to try to. Uh, sync my audio with my slide. I just happen to know that it's a little off. Okay, that's pretty close. Now I'm drag. If you notice, I leave a little gap, and I do that on purpose because I don't like my video starting immediately. I like the couple second delay. Okay, now let's add some files. Okay, what we want to add now is I'm going to add an end to our video so I'm just gonna open this now this is something I created all these uh, files on here were created using the I'll, sh I'll show you here in a minute here let's just add it and I'm gonna say import as sequence and I'm gonna say yes and the reason because it's gonna do all of them in that directory so now how I created this file is uh, I went to uh, the the text. I went to animation, and I used the one of the animations here, and I I created it that way. But it takes a while to render it to save time. I did it ahead of time. That's all. And we'll use this slide at the end of our video. Okay. The next one I want to. These are all the files that we're going to use. Okay. Now that I got that file. Uh, I've already got this file because this is our start, uh, the one we just worked on here. Now I don't need this file because I've got that in one of my slides. Uh, and this is the file that we're working on right now, so we don't need that one. But I do need these two files here. These are my audio files. But I already brought in the start, so I don't need that one. But I need this one right now, so I'm going to bring that one in. Okay, now the last thing we want to do is bring in those image files that we created for our book. So uh, I'm going to grab all of these, including the book cover uh, that I created using uh, an online. And this, I'm, we're going to answer no, because these I want individually slides. So there they are. Okay, now. We got our video started here, and what I'm going to do, <coughs> clear my throat first, what I'm going to do is start adding the files, and the first file that we're going to add is going to be our cover, and I like people to see the cover, not long, but just short, okay? Yeah, just a few seconds, that's all you need. Now I notice one thing, you, you see how short the, uh, the slide was. You can make that slide longer by going to your preferences and on the image length, I'm going to make that uh, 75.
I just happen to know that this is the, the length I like to work with. Okay, now we'll close it. Now watch when I bring the next slide in. Uh, well, not the audio. The audio will be the size of the audio. And I'm going to put that right at the end of the cover. Then I'm going to bring in slide number one. And I'm going to put that right here. So now we're ready to start creating our video uh, by adding each one of these slides. And let me do that by, I have to, I have to listen to it in order to know where to stop each slide because it's going to read it. So let's try it now. How to create an audiobook. I have created over 2,000 audiobooks. Okay, it's already started to read next slide, so I'm just going to put that in there. With us without saying a word. Just like this one, I use digital voices to read the text. I then put the text and audio together and upload them to YouTube. If you want to see how I do this, just watch this video. The software I use is either open source or online. I am a Linux user, but if you use a Mac or Windows PC, you can follow this how and it will work for you. I use a Chrome browser, but you can do it with any browser you choose. Here is the list of software and online sites that I use to create an audiobook. Okay, I'm going to end this slide right when the reading. It's all a matter of timing. Okay, now we grab the next slide. Okay. First, you create your text, and you can use whatever you like. I have an account with Grammarly, and I create my document using their online editor, or I use Google Docs. Grammarly now works with Docs. After my book or article is finished, I copy and paste into Google Slides. I size the text so that it is large enough to read on a smartphone. I use a 17.5 to 18 point text. This size seems to work well. As you can see, I am doing this all online. I create the cover online as well using a website called Canva. You can find it by searching. After I have the cover, any images I am going to use, and slides completed and saved, I am ready to create my audio for the book. I use a website for this as well. It is called From Text to Speech. Okay, and I'm going to close this. And put the last slide in. Okay, now it's going to end right at the end of my audio here. I know that. So the last slide, what I do is I just leave a little overlap. And then I add a fade out at the end of the clip, and I fade out slow. Then I'll take the last slide, which is the end. It's an animated text slide, and add it right to the end. Now let's play the last slide. I am a user of Dropbox, and I create a directory there and put all my files in the cloud so I will not lose them. But after the final book is finished, I delete them because all I want to keep is the video file, which is an MP4 file. Seeing I have so many video files, very large in size, I back them up to an external hard drive, and remove them from Dropbox. We now come to the creation of the audiobook. The software I use is OpenShot Video Editor. You can download it for any platform you are using, Windows, Mac, or Linux. To learn how I use this software to create the audiobook, you will have to watch the video I made to do this. I put this short text together with a cover and one graphic to use in creating this audiobook as an example. There we go. Our video is complete. Make sure it's saved. Save the video. And I usually minimize it. And then what you want to do is you want to render the video. Now this takes a while to render. So we won't render it. Well, maybe we, we can. I can render it right now. 
uh, export the video. And as you can see, the percentages. Uh, the longer the file, the, uh, of course, the longer it takes. And it's kind of a short uh, video, so it shouldn't really take too long. Uh, we'll have to wait till that's done. But meanwhile, I'm going to take you to uh, some of the, f the the websites that I I used. Now, remember, I told you that I used that one uh, to create the book cover. Uh, let's find my tools I use online, and it's the one, oh, right here it is, okay, and of course I'll log in, I've got an account with them, and these are some of the templates that you can use uh, for the design, uh, and you can I usually just go up here and type in uh, uh, book covers and it finds it. And let's see if I can find all mine. Uh, all your designs, that's what I'm looking for. These are the ones that I've used. I've created uh, book covers of my own here. Uh, I use their templates and and uh, then, like I wrote a book, uh, it was called, uh, uh, well, The River Wild was the name of the one, but it was a, uh, The Bodily Resurrection. This is the one that I created. I used a cemetery for a, a cover. And, well, anyway, yeah, just wanted to show you that just so you know okay we're about 68 percent here uh, as soon as it's done I'll show you how I upload it to YouTube while we're waiting for that to get done let's uh, go to YouTube here I'll just open this up and go to YouTube here Okay, and then I'm gonna go to uh, I'll go to my channel. Okay, and then let's go to upload a video. Okay, we're all set here. Now all I gotta do is drag the video in here as soon as it's done. So let's. Uh, Minimize this. 95%. We're almost done here. 98, 99. Okay. Now, we created a video file. There it is. Now, what I want to do is drag that one and put it online. So let's open and open my. Okay, drag it and just drop it. Okay. Now what I usually do is I'm going to pick the cover uh, and the cover is right here and that's what I'm going to use. No, it didn't take it. Let's try it again. Okay, there it is. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time. I don't know why. It must be a bug in the or I'm too fast, one or the other. Now, usually I put it in a playlist, how-to videos, okay? So I put a little check mark on that one. And then I usually put the date in there that I created the video. Oh, and guess what? It's my birthday. Alrighty. Now I'll just wait till it's all done, and then I'll publish it. And that's basically it for creating an audio file. When you go online and look at this, you'll know exactly how I did it. And with that said, I'm just going to open OBS because that's what I use to create this screencast. And I'm going to stop my recording and have a good day. I know I plan on it. Uh, goodbye for now.